Here we see how the opponent moves, and this movement is followed by a forward knee. This is a complicated movement, a combination of stepping, pushing and pulling, and therefore we will treat this technique step by step. Grab your opponent from the inside and keep close contact. Step with your right leg around the left leg of your opponent and follow this movement with your left leg. At the same time you pull with your left arm and push your opponent with your right arm and elbow beside you. Do this till your arms are stretched and then make a forward knee and afterwards have again close contact. So you pull and push and follow up with the right forward knee. After experimenting a few times you will notice that this movement is really very complex. Many things have to be done at the same time and therefore we will show a few parts in close up. Be sure that you are in close contact with your opponent with your hands inside. Step with your right leg around his left leg, following by your left leg. Again, pull with your left arm and push with your right one, your opponent beside you. You have to do this in one single movement. With a strong short jerk you have to move your opponent in such a way that you create the ideal position to place your right knee in a solar plexus. During this movement, you can see very clearly how the movement is during the fight, especially you see the upper part of the body. Notice how I create enough room with my arms with the pull and push movement. Here you see a close-up of the footwork. Notice the steps that are being made and how the opponent moves. You 
you have your left leg forward and you make a step with your right foot around the left leg of your opponent. Join your left leg and turn at the same time your whole body around. Examine this carefully a few times. The movement of the feet is one of the important points of this technique. Here you can examine how the arms are used to push and pull. Watch the left arm. It pulls while the right arm pushes. In this way you move the upper body of the opponent. You can see that by this technique I can move my opponent wherever I like to. As well to the left as to the right side. Here we see the opposite of the previous technique. Now we step to the other side. Now I step with my left leg around his right leg. I pull and push and notice how my right leg in a single movement follows. I stretch with my arms and follow with the left knee.
Be sure that the total movement resembles a single movement. In this way the opponent has enough time to return into a stable position. Be sure that you move your opponent beside you and not only step around him, otherwise you're off balance. Use your arms in a proper way. Stretch your arms before moving your knee to create an optimal space. Again, after the technique, you clinch your opponent, you're as close as possible. The technique is being used by an attacking opponent who runs at you. Now notice how the opponent is turned and moved. Your opponent contacts you. Take him with your arms and step with your right leg around him. Move your opponent into the ropes, following with the right knee. So step with your right leg around him, move your opponent in the ropes and follow with the right knee. You are using the weight and speed of your opponent. How faster he comes at you, as the more quickly he becomes beside you. Take care that you step correctly around your opponent in order to move him, because if you keep staying on one place he will contact you and you are only able to clinch him. Use your knee at the moment he comes from the ropes, in this way it will resemble a crash.
Again, your opponent runs at you, now you are moving left and right and finally giving a knee. Start this exercise slowly and increase the speed if you are controlling this technique. Again, the step movements are very important. Watch the step movements. It is important to practice this exercise on both sides. The reason is that your opponent always has a weak side, where he is off balance. It is important to catch your opponent and afterwards to move him. So catch him, step around him and moving in one single movement. Catch him with a knee if he comes off the ropes. Here we see how you can create an opening from a clinching position if your opponent holds you from the inside around your neck. You are in a clinching position and your opponents hold you from an inside position around your neck. Move your right hand under his left elbow and push this elbow sideways and upwards. Now you are creating an opening for a right knee. So move your hand under his left elbow and push his elbow sidewards and upwards. Now you are creating an opening to place your knee.
we practice this both sides. This technique applies for both sides, therefore train these techniques also for both sides. On the left hand side you move your left hand under his right elbow in order to lift it upwards and to place a knee. In order to move under his elbow you have to bend a little bit while keeping your other arm around his neck. So bend and then push his arm upwards to follow up with your knee. Now I will show you how we can block different kinds of knee attacks. Your opponent places a left straight forward knee. This attack is blocked by placing your elbow in his thigh. The right knee can be blocked with your left elbow in his thigh. A round right knee is blocked by pulling upwards your right knee before the knee of your opponent hits the target. The round right knee is blocked in the same way with the left knee. It can be blocked with a left knee and a right knee. If you block this with the right knee it's called a cross blocking. Notice that while blocking the straight front knee attack you have to bend a little bit and you have to hit him with the point of your elbow. This really hurts.
just when your opponent attacks you with a round knee, you lift your knee upwards. Notice that this happens just in time to retain balance. Notice that this can be done with both legs. Here we can see the interruption of a knee attack. I pull up my knee to block a knee attack. The more power my opponent will use in his attack, the more he will get hurt.